Hello, welcome to another video. So let's find the equation of the tangent line to this curve at this point. What do you need to find the equation of a line? Well, you need to know the slope and you need to have a point or at least know the y-intercept. This question does not look like we'll be finding a y-intercept because we'll be given a point. So to write the equation of a straight line, remember all you need is a point and the slope. Using the slope point form, what do we get? y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So let's just set the template for what we're going to do. We know we're going to have the equation, equation of tangent, tangent line will be given as y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. The question is, do you know what x1 is? Do you know what y1 is? Yes, I do, because that's what you got here. This is my x1, this is my y1. I can plug that in here and in here. The only thing I don't know is the slope of the line. Well, remember from your pre-calculus that the slope of a tangent line is the same as the slope of the curve at the point where both of them meet. And this is the point. So whatever slope you can ca calculate for this function is the same slope of this tangent line. And that's what this is going to be. Let's get into it. So let's use what we have first to find what we want. Let's use what we have to get what we want. That's what you do in life. Use what you've got to get what you want or what you need, not what you whatever. Okay, so we've got x1, we've got y1. Let's go plug them in here. So we have y minus, what is y1? It's negative 2. So be careful to take care of the negative 2 correctly. Equals m times x minus, what is x1? It's 0. Okay. If we distribute this, we've got y plus 2 equals mx. Oh, that's it. And we can move the 2 here so that y equals mx minus 2. So this is the equation of the tangent line, but we don't know what m is. Okay, and that's the only thing we need. We just need to know what m is. And remember, m is the slope of this curve at this point. So let's go find the slope of this curve at this point. Okay, so um, how do you find the slope of a curve? You take the derivative. So uh, this looks awkward, but if we distribute this, we're going to have y squared, sorry, y to the fourth. So this becomes y to the fourth minus 4y squared equals x to the fourth minus 5x squared. So now let's take the derivative. Because y is not isolated, whatever we do now is called implicit differentiation. Because if we differentiate, we'll be differentiating with respect to x, but the y is just squared and raised to power 4. So let's take the derivative of both sides. So this is implicit differentiation, d dx of y to the fourth minus 4y squared equals d dx of x to the fourth minus 5x squared. Okay. So now, if we take the derivative of each of these terms, implicitly, this is going to be 4y cubed. So you're going to differentiate this as if it, you were differentiating with respect to y, but you're differentiating with respect to x. So you're going to multiply by the derivative of y, which I'm going to write as y prime. You can write it as dy dx, but y prime looks smooth here. Okay, minus, if you take the derivative of this, you're going to get 8y times y prime. Okay, we go to the right-hand side. The derivative of x to the fourth is 4x cubed, and the derivative of this is minus 10x. And we're good. Now, do not go ahead, because you don't need to know what y prime is in terms of a function, okay? What you want to get is basically the value of y prime at this point. So as soon as you take the, the implicit derivative or you differentiate implicitly and you get your y prime showing up, 
just go plug in the values of x and y at that point. So what I'm going to do is everywhere there is x, I'm going to plug in 0, and everywhere there is y, I'm going to plug in negative 2. So watch this. This is going to be 4 times negative 2 cubed times y prime minus 8 times negative 2 times y prime equals 4 times 0 cubed minus 10 times 0. Clearly, everything on this side will become 0. So, I got 0. And here, I have negative 8 times 4. That's negative 32y prime minus, oh, this is minus 8 times minus 2. That's plus 16y prime equals 0. So, what would this give us? This gives us negative 16y prime equals 0, which means that y prime equals zero. No way. You see, y prime equals zero. What did we say y prime again was? M. That's the slope we've been looking for. So the slope of our function is zero, actually. So it means if we rewrite this expression here, our y equals mx minus two is the same thing as y equals zero times x minus 2. Well, this becomes 0, and your answer is y equals negative 2. This is the line tangential to this curve at this point. This is the only line that forms a tangent to the curve at that point. y equals negative 2. I hope you learned something in this video. Give it a like give it a share, and leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.